Take it or take it or leave it. You know what I mean? Okay, let's go in. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Lord. Have I waited for this day? Have you? Well, yes, I have. Haven't you? Whitney. Yes, dear. Absolutely. I know it. I don't you, believe that I've ever met you in my entire career. Isn't that funny? You talk about me all the time. And you are top billing. Is that why you talk about me all the time? Absolutely. You, even me. you don't even know me. Uh, but the, here's the thing. I talk about you in two ways. In the, in the way that the media talks about Whitney, yes. but I always talk about you as being one of the greatest voices of our time. Mariah Carey is another one. You two do two separate works, but you have a voice that is just unbeatable, Whitney. I love you, Whitney. I thank you for that. I really do, because I know, in spite of everything, you play my records. I do. I know that. And I also feel like you and I have something in common. We do. Um, well, yeah, besides besides the, you know, the motherhood thing and, okay. and, and, and so on and so forth. Whitney, you, your new CD is out now. Yes. The first week it did very well. It's not doing quite as well right now compared to perhaps what the record label thought it would be doing. Well, it's never what you thought I should be doing. Okay. It's never what you think I should be doing. It's never what you think you say I'm doing. It is what's going to happen. You see what I'm saying? I don't want my album to peak too quickly. I don't want it to peak too quickly because I want it to go through the summer uh -huh. and the fall. Okay. I understand. So there is a, a plan. Okay. You don't, you understand what I mean? Like you said, your schedule on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, who you going to talk about and how you going to talk about them? Yes. Well, that's how I do. So we play, we love the song, The Dear John Letter, here on the show. Yes, ma'am. And um, speaking of letters, you no longer have to write to Bobby. Bobby's out of jail. Bobby's back home now. Yes, baby. You ain't, uh, don't you? You get on this. Hold on. So you got the 411. You should know. I want to make sure that I have all my stories straight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, baby. He's home. Well and intact. Do you regret Diane Sawyer interview? No, why should I? Well, it didn't exactly show you in the best light. You don't think so? Well, you know, Wendy, you don't show yourself in the best light. People still listen to you. Yeah, but I'm on the radio every day. Yeah, we, see, you know, we just don't get to see your face, but they should know what you look like. I understand that, uh, Whitney. Perhaps one day I will have a TV show, but in terms of what I do, yeah. when I'm not shown in the best light, I guess one of the best things that I love about my career is, is that there's always tomorrow to come back. And, see, and I love about my career uh -huh. is that my music speaks for itself. Yeah, well, it does. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I am the second wife most interviewed behind Monica Lewinsky in the history of interviews. I'm surprised you're second to her. I mean, as far as... You know, I'm mean, not, like, too cool about coming behind her, but, you know, it's all right with me because, um, you know, I got a lot of mileage because it was a moment... See, I'm not one for sitting down and talking to people. I, you know, you can talk all you want about me, but my mother always said, don't try to find a lie with truth, you know, because then you make it worse because people like to lie for whatever reason they like to lie on you about. Right. However, um, I thought that it was a major step for me to sit with Diane Sawyer, the biggest interviewer in the world, and talk with her and give her what um, basically um, I thought I could get, you know, and I think people enjoy that, seeing me and seeing me growing and being a spiritual person and that I have a family that loves me and cares about me and protects me and um, that was the um, idea, well, Wendy. Well, yeah, no, it, it was very entertaining. You thought it was entertaining? Uh, yes. Ah, you're funny. Uh, yeah, I mean, please, me and everybody, we, we were all watching together. I recently... This is a very funny moment. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, from from start to end, it was quite entertaining, Whitney. Well, I'm glad you were entertained, because you watched it, didn't you? So, so Whitney, as, as far as you stand with drug use, is there drug use going on at this present time? Who are you talking to? To you, Whitney. You. No, you're not talking to me. I'm a mother. Only my mother has privy to that information. You talk to your child about that. Don't ask me no questions like I'm a child. You talk to your baby about her, what, what she going to be uh, confronting or what she got to deal with. Don't ask me like I'm a child because I'm not a child, Wendy. My child is a little boy and I will talk to him yeah, about drugs. Don't talk to me about that shit. But listen, Whitney, what, I, I, I will talk to my son about drugs because I have don't been me, Wendy, where the world the speculates thing. where you don't are, me, which is uh, I was a full-blown cocaine addict. So well, I, I, problem, I, not mine. Move on. Well, you know, that was my problem, Whitney. You yourself. Did you ask God to help you? And No, I, ma I managed, thank God, because I have a good man. And, and, so, and so thank God I was able to just rise and up thank above God, it. Wendy. And quit. And all I ask is this. Okay, okay. And you on Diane Sawyer also mentioned that um, 
you'd want to see receipts behind the drug use. Yeah. Man, if I spent that much money, somebody better give me some receipts so I get a tax return. Well, speaking of spending money, so recently I was hearing that you were trying to trim the budget, which, by the way, Whitney, I thought that this was something... Very I mean, where the hell are you get your information from? Who's calling you and telling you? Um, uh, well, I got this story from a gossip named Steve Hers. You ever hear of him? No. Well, like you said, gossip. Yeah. Steve yeah. Hers is a West Coast correspondent, and um, we we uh, I communicate with all the different gossips. Uh, it's it's what we do, you know. Uh, you guys all gonna have a gossip lunch? Huh? Like something like that. <laughs> anyway, Whitney. Yeah. Uh, they're saying that um, you're doing some massive budget cuts. I'm doing massive changes. And you know what? Yeah. I, I wanted to let you know that this is something I think is good. This is a good Whitney thing. You like it. You approve. Yeah, I really approve. Oh, Whitney, please. Listen, that we're saying that you were uh, you cut your mother's um, See, you don't know what the f allowance. See, don't make me curse on the radio. I'm, I'm trying to be, you know, come on. Well, Steve was saying it was from about like $1,600 a week to about $500 a week. I want you to kiss my Okay. He and also don't anybody else ever think I'd do that to my mother, you low down dirty he also was letting me know that Michael, Gary, and your sister Donna, who run your nippy company, are also uh, experiencing the slashes across the board. They were saying that you have a 24-hour-a-day bar on site at your studio that you're now cutting down and you're not making your personal chef available to people to just come up in your house and just order food and stuff. I think that's all good. That never happened. I don't even know what the you're talking about. Well. I have no idea what you're talking about, Wendy. How is Bobby Christina doing? Growing and being a beautiful young lady that God sent her here to be. Yeah, she's nine now, right? Yes, yeah, she is. Mm. When your husband was um, incarcerated for those few days, what types of things do you tell her concerning, like, do you say, like, daddy's away visiting Boston? Or... I don't really talk to her. Retard. She was, she's a spare patient. She's a child who has intelligence. Okay. My child is smart. No, what I'm I talk to her, shut your mouth. I talk to her like she's an intelligent human being, okay? And I give her just as much as she can handle for a nine-year-old because I'm her mother, okay? And that's how we deal with it. Never mind what I told her, but she know the deal. Well, a lot. A lot of parents whose spouse or what have you goes through something, a lot, of, particularly because that was only eight days, would have either taken them out of school for the eight days or taken them away from watching TV to, you know, see headlines. I do what I do to protect my daughter, Wendy, just like you would do to protect your son, okay? All right. You're very defensive, Whitney. I have to be, Wendy. You talk about me every f***ing day. Well, Whitney. And every other day. Whitney, you, you keep yourself in the headlines. No, Wendy. Y'all keep me in the headlines. I mind my business. I try to maintain what I got. I want to know what I'm doing all the time. I don't give a shit about what you're doing all the time. As long as you're healthy and God is blessing you and you're doing the right thing and being a decent person, I can handle that. When's the last time you talked to Robin? About a week ago. <laughs> because I know that you and Robin were girlfriends from when you were growing up. And, and we're still friends, girl. Okay. Um, will she be working back with you or is she still... Wendy, 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 Wendy. Yeah. Robin Robin not doing anything. No, Robin don't work for me. She'll work for me now. Moving right along. Uh -huh. Okay, so okay. so okay. Our, our king of R and B is he working on an album? Bobby is Bobby working on an album? Yes, ma'am. When do you think his album will be out? Uh, very soon, Wendy. I'm sure. A numerologist came on the show the other oh, week, hell. and we we ran you guys' yeah. numbers. And for what it's worth, the numerologist said that you and Bobby are so right for each other. Honey, he, he's so right. He's never been more right in his life. That's the most rightest thing you ever said. Yeah, thank you, Whitney. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How's your father doing? Not well, Wendy. Yeah. Um, the, his partner, Kevin Skinner. <laughs> you don't want to talk about him. Moving right along. And I didn't talk to him, Whitney. I don't want to talk about him. He's not my friend, okay? Okay. You want to be my friend? I like to be your friend, I think. Well, you're so defensive. Is this how you treat your friends? No, but you're not my friend. You just said you want to be my friend. That's what I want. See, see, I want to be your friend. When I, I am your friend. Do you ever do simple things like go to the grocery store? Yeah, I went yesterday to the gas. Yeah? Yeah. And what, kind of, what kind of car were you putting the gas in? I was putting gas into a white Hummer. Do you live a relatively normal life in that in that area where you live? No. You constantly have people in the woods trying to take pictures and all that. Hello, thing? I mean, come on, Wendy, you don't make it any better. <laughs> but um, actually, yeah, I have people in the woods and in the trees and and want to follow me and yeah, the whole nine yards, Wendy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when it's just you and Bobby Christina in the house, the three of you, um, who who is part of the staff of your house who's always there as well? You know, besides Jesus. You? <laughs> I got, I got you. <laughs> Jesus, constantly. Oh.
Okay. Anybody else may come and go, but he's a constant stay. How's, how's your mom doing? Does she live there in the house? And she's a constant stay, too, but she does not live with me. No, my mother does not. How do you get along with Bobby's baby's mother? <laughs> you are the terrible girl. Oh, my God, you are so deep. I mean, oh, you're so, like, you know, like nosy. Ah, I am. You are so nosy, man. I am. It's not just you. I'm like this with everybody I with me. I your son must be like, damn, Mom, what did you say again? How do you get along with Bobby's baby's mother? Me and Bobby's baby's mama don't have any problem because I don't create none, and if there is some, I can finish it. Yeah. Well, we, we can we can talk about it and get an understanding. At one point, there was a beef between Bobby and Babyface. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, well why don't you talk to Bobby Babyface about that? You know what, Whitney? You what, are, baby? You are something else. <laughs> I've been waiting to talk to you, Wendy. I love you, darling. When are you coming to the studio? When am I coming to your studio? Yeah. You really want me to come there? I would love that. Oh, my Lord. Well, we got to make a date, okay? Yes, we do. Look, uh, do you uh, want to have more children? Yes, I do. I want a little boy. Mm. I want a mama's boy. And you're going to be 40 this year, right? Oh, tell the world, why don't you? <laughs> oh, you low-down dirty dog. Whitney, you look great. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I feel good, too. Thank I mean, you. you. The, uh, the only thing is that you said, um, Whitney will never be fat. No. I was like, how dare her? Never. Who is that, a diss to all fat girls? No, I just won't be fat. Sorry, not good, not healthy. Have you ever heard anybody being fat, being healthy? You smoke weed? Oh, s***. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah Carey was on the show and said that she denied her breast implants. Do you deny yours? <laughs> No. See, that's no. my girl with me. Do you ever wish that you got him bigger? No, my husband loves them. Yeah, 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 yeah. He loves them. Yeah. They sit nice. They're very well proportioned with you. It's just that at one point when you lost so much weight, though, they did look like two baseballs on a stick. Yeah, they look really weird. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that when you look at yourself in the mirror, you have some reservations about your looks, too. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm you. I know how you look. Hey, uh... <laughs> Bobby um, has had a reputation occasionally to step out on the marriage. Oh, really? Say the gossips. Okay, thank you. What would you say the biggest issue is in you all's marriage? You people. You yes. people like to run your damn mouth. Mm hmm Yeah. Hmm. Oh. If you could, if you could take back anything that you told Diane Sawyer, what would it be? If I could, if I could say something that I didn't say, okay, I wouldn't come to anybody. I got a problem with you to kiss my, and I love you, but I don't live for you. I don't live for you. You talk about me. You 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 call me out my name. You you you, you make my mother call me and ask me questions. You make my father sick. You make my brother sick. You make my childhood. You never see me in your damn life, but you talk about me. That's not right. There's a limit to what you can say. And if I was really like that back in the day, and I'd meet you outside. I'd meet you outside. But I'm a lady and I have a class. But I'll talk to you, Wendy, because I love you, because you're a fan. I know it. I am. I know, baby. I'm a fan of your I'm entire experience, though. Not just no shit like that. They were fighting words. You know what, though? Rebel. I'm a fan of yours, not just the music, Whitney. I'm a fan of you, the woman. Thank you. Cause my mother's very proud of me, Wendy. She is. She loves me. And she respects me. That's what matters to me. That my mother loves and respects me. Who's, whose idea was it to set up that Diane Sawyer interview? Me in LA. Do any of your um, celebrity girlfriends, whether it be Oprah or Angela Bassett or anybody like that, do they ever try to, like, um, ride the train of his Whitney on Coke and let me talk to her to get her off? You know, they make you to break you. You know what I mean? That's the name of the game. But I don't break. I'm not made of glass, baby. I come from a line of heritage, of strong heritage, legacy. You can't break me. God, Whitney. What, baby? You are a real trip. I've been around the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how will you be spending Valentine's Day? With my husband. I bet you all have wild circus sex, don't you? Oh, my God. Wendy, don't make me meet you outside. Come on, now. You're getting too deep. But I can just... It, it, you, you, could, you, you could picture it, couldn't you? Yeah, you were such... Nasty. You were such passionate people. You're nasty. Do you still go to church? Yeah. What church do you go to? Oh, well, I feel like it. It's right there in my heart. Okay, okay. I got you. Uh-huh. Well, Whitney, I want to thank you. Thank you, Wendy. For giving me this moment and not hanging up the phone. No, I wouldn't do that to you, baby. And being... I'm going to talk through. 
and being as sassy as you want to be. <laughs> Ah, uh, Wendy, I love you because you support me and um, you've been you've been good to me on the radio. However, you know, watch what you say, baby girl. But Whitney, watch what you do. I know it's not. You don't even know what I do. Like you said, you never met me. You don't know me. You ain't been in my house. You don't live with me. You don't sleep with me. You don't do shit with me. But talk about me. So watch what you say. That's all, baby girl. That's all I'm asking you is watch what the f you say. I would love to have you come in the studio. Okay, love. And we'll I make it through. You call my machine, I'll call yours. I would, I would love to be able to All right. read your body language. Ooh, don't have any idea. I'm sitting here chilling on the Miami balcony just talking to you. Are you? Yeah, baby. Just finished eating some chicken. What's the weather like? Like 74. Whitney, Whitney, have you ever, has it ever gotten so bad we ever would consider suicide? Hell no. Got a child to live for. Come on. That's what I'm talking Work about. Work with Whitney. me. I won't leave you. I love you, Whitney. I love you too, Whitney. You take care. You too, baby. Bye. Be blessed.